Hi everybody, here we are again, and it's a Tom Caxton's lager, and we're here to talk about it. Mm. So it's a, a kit and kilo kit, that's the label. Nothing on the other side. It comes with the instructions under the lid. A 1.8 kilogram kit. Add a kilo of standard table sugar I used and water. Makes 40 pints. I reused my SO4 yeast as usual. Uh, there's a bit of bumpy rubbish. I've not read it. It did it does come with a, a hop enhancement sachet. Of which I bunged it all in, as usual. It's a powder, maltodextrin with hop extract in there. I think it's bittering hop extract. You can't you can't really do aroma hop extract. Hopped malt extract. Sorry, ingredients. Hopped malt extract. Malted barley in bold. Water hop extract. Hop extract in sachet. Dried yeast in sachet. For allergen advice, see ingredients in bold. So it's barley. Gluten. Approximately 4% ABV, it says. So this one was another quite warm one. It was starting gravity was 1.0048 at 23 degrees C. It did cool off because the finishing gravity was 1.012 at 21 degrees C. Approximate ABV of 4.8913% ABV. Alcohol. By volume. Price. Steep. For a single price, single can kit and kilo kit, nineteen pounds ninety five plus sixty five p for sugar, that's twenty pounds sixty. I'm just going to look. I'm sure. I don't know. I've not written the prices down. But some of the all malt kits start around about that sort of price, maybe twenty pounds ninety. So let's have a look at it. <clears throat> Fairly much polished clear, I'd say. It's a light golden colour straw maybe very light it's a lager it looks like a lager it doesn't really hold the head as you notice it's already died down it's down to a cap I think it stays at about a cap so watch it with the torch Let's go in for the aroma. There is a slight malty note. It's going to be a pale malt. Pale malt. Maybe a little bit of a hint of earthiness to it. Diving for a taste. It's for, it's for, it's for drinking, not for, not for sniffing. A slight sweetness. There is definite maltiness up front, 
and it's a, quite early on it sort of earthiness kicks in a bit a very very hint of fruit what sort of fruit good question it's that sort of it's just on the edge you can just taste it almost apple maybe pear a slight vague fruitiness beery sort of flavour very nice particularly carbonated because it's from the barrel and it doesn't get carbonated well the beer gets carbonated but it doesn't get fizzy because I can't lower the temperature if I could lower the temperature you'd get fizzy beer can't do that I have to take it as it comes it does have a nice <coughs> liveliness on the tongue not a fizz but you know it's not a flat beer there's carbonation in there quite a nice pleasant beer but for a kit and kilo quite expensive £20.60 if we work that out as to how much it's going to be a pint it's going to be about 50p a pint Bear with me, talk amongst yourselves. That's not right. Fifty two pence, fifty two point two five pence a pint. That's very expensive for a kitten kilo. Mouthfeel. Not bad actually. I'd say probably medium and it sort of lasts throughout. There's no watery gaps anywhere. Still, 20 quid. There's better all malt kits out there for 20 quid. Right, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.